Time now for a short look through the international papers. For that, we're joined by Alison Sargent. Alison, I'm going to start with reactions to that blackout at one of Iran's nuclear sites. Some papers, and now indeed Iran's foreign minister, saying it was an attack by Israel. Yeah, Iranian officials have now directly blamed Israel, uh, but they were initially pretty vague about it, and that's reflected in the Iranian papers from this morning. Uh, the Iran Daily headlines on comments Iranian officials made yesterday calling it a desperate act of terrorism aimed at sabotaging successful talks uh, to revive the nuclear deal. But the Iran Daily uh, doesn't actually mention um, in this article Israel until the very end of the article when they say that Israeli media outlets uh, were reporting that it was an Israeli cyber attack. And indeed, uh, on the front page of the Jerusalem Post, they are reporting loud and clear this morning, uh, Mossad behind a cyber attack on Iran's nuclear facility. The paper also has um, interesting analysis that you see here about how Israel's involvement came to light, uh, since Israel um, usually keeps a low profile when it carries out attacks. But the paper explains that the fierce rivalry between Israel's spy agency, Mossad, uh, and the Israeli Defense Forces potentially led to Mossad wanting to come forward and take credit for this attack publicly. Uh, the paper warns that that's really dangerous since the whole point of Israel not claiming these attacks officially uh, is to allow, to allow Iran to then save face and not feel pressured uh, to retaliate, which now they, Iran might feel more pressure to do. Uh, another possibility is that U.S. officials are the ones who leaked it to the press, although the New York Times is citing officials from both Israel and the United States. Uh, the paper also reports that the damage is quite significant and could take Iran as many as nine months to fix. Yes, but quite a serious attack then. Well, let's move back here to France, Alison. Luxury hotels have been laying off a, a lot of workers despite receiving large amounts of financial aid from the government. Yeah, hotel workers from Marriott Hotels, including the Westin, which is owned by Marriott, uh, have been protesting every week for the past month here in Paris. Uh, according to Liberation, at least uh, 1,000 workers from the international chain have been laid off in Paris alone, some of them simply fired with Without any compensation. Now, the hotel chain justifies the cuts by saying that they're facing an unprecedented crisis, but they wouldn't give the paper any specifics on their financial situation. And for Liberation, these numbers just don't add up. The paper notes that the hotel industry has received some 4 billion euros in government aid, which is one of the most of any sector. And so while obviously the tourism industry has been hit pretty hard over the past year, the paper is very sympathetic to these hotel workers uh, who accuse Marriott of using using the sanitary crisis as an excuse to make these cuts and then just pocket the money. Gosh, well, let's move to a slightly more upbeat, definitely a quirkier story. It's coming from the capital of Estonia. It's shutting down one of its streets for two weeks to make way for frogs. That's right. Thousands of frogs eve cross this street every spring to get to the ponds uh, where they mate. Now, the Baltic News Network explains that usually they're helped across the street by volunteers, which must be a pretty incredible sight already. Uh, but because of COVID-19, that's no longer possible. And so to keep the frogs safe, the Estonian capital has decided to close the, this street uh, for two weeks between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. So hopefully the frogs will be careful uh, not to miss that window. Um, also, Eve, because you were curious, I looked it up for you, and a group of frogs is called an army. An army of frogs. An army Fabulous. of frogs. I have to say, I quite like the headline there, for frog's <laughs> sake. Alison Sargent, thanks a lot for that look at the international papers.